I'm here at Snoqualmie Falls, just outside of Seattle, on the I-90 to heading towards Spokane. <laughs> Two hundred eighty feet. So Squamish Falls is used as a hydro plant, and it's got a two hundred eighty foot drop. Also, there's a railroad museum around here and a hydro museum around here, hydro plant museum. Pretty cool. I'm here at the Washington State Veterans Cemetery, which is just outside of Spokane, Washington. This is a beautiful and peaceful cemetery that truly honors the men and women who fought for our freedom. The American Legion put it best when they left this marker. In memory of those who sacrificed their lives unselfishly by serving in the defense of their country and humanity during war and in peace. Let this be a place to honor their memories, their sacrifices, and remember their battles for justice forever. So here we've got Spokane Hoop Fest. There are literally like a thousand basketball hoops out here today. And it seems like the entire city's out here. Holiday Inn Express ever. The people of Spokane sure do love basketball. I've never seen an entire city get taken over for a, a public event. The, uh, seriously, every road is blocked off. And right here we have the famous Spokane waterfalls. Because of Hoop Fest, this was as close as I could get to the real falls. Check it out, they're moving old houses from other parts of the city. The Maple Street Bridge spans the Spokane River. And you get to see a little bit of the waterfall. Spokane, Washington is a much bigger city than I ever thought. And quite honestly, it looks like there's a lot of fun stuff to do here too. And I'm gonna have to check this place out again. All right, I just made it to Idaho. Welcome to Idaho. I'm standing here at the Old Mission National Historic Park in Idaho, near Coeur d'Alene. And the oldest building in Idaho is this church right here. It's called the Old Mission Church. And it was built in the 1860s. This site has actually been very important to the Pacific Northwest in that it was a place where treaties have been signed, weary travelers have been able to come here and rest, and during the silver rush people from the Silver Valley would bring their silver down to have it shipped out. Finally, the city of Wallace is a great place to shop, dine, and have a great time as you enjoy its old country charm. So I don't know what happened, but I think I'm in Montana. But I never saw a sign for it. So, anyways, yay, I'm in Montana! So, what happened was, while I was in the middle of one of the construction areas, we passed the Montana sign. I just didn't see it because the right two lanes are being rebuilt. Check out this speedboat. Wow. That's crazy!